I'm exploring whether explosives rather than water can be used to put out a large out of control bushfire. I was lucky enough to be able to do some testing at a bomb site out in New Mexico where we were able to take a large steel tube, fill it with high explosives and direct it at a really large propane flame. It's a lot like uh, blowing out a candle except you get a much larger blast of air that actually disrupts the combustion and all the turbulent structures of the flame and extinguishes the fire that way. At first we just filmed this with conventional high-speed video so we could see what happened to the flame. But the thing about blast waves is they're almost invisible to the human eye, so we had to use a special technique called the shadow graph that really allowed us to visualize the shock wave and the other flow features. And what happens is the shock wave goes through the flame and at a really small scale it disrupts all the turbulent structures, breaks them down, and the flame eventually gets pushed off the fuel source. Without fuel, it can't burn anymore. What we're hoping is that if we can use a directional explosive in a bushfire, it'll not only push the fire off of the treetops, but it'll actually knock the loose dry material that's burning to the forest floor. And once it's still burning down there, it's going very slowly and we can attack it with more conventional firefighting means. This technique's been used before to put out oil and gas well fires, so we're pretty confident that it could apply to a bushfire.